All right, so I wanted to show you the technique. Um, showed you what happened with the, uh, uh, the uh, squash bugs on that one. <clears throat> and uh, I was out here taking pictures for our parade of garden. And I see this particular female flower is blooming. And I look around, and there's only one other flower. I took it off of that one. Right there. And this is a male flower, because there was no fruit underneath it. But what I want to do is show you how to pollinate by hand. And you want to do this. Hang on here. If I can hold it. You got that. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go in here and take. See if I can do this. I want to put the pollen carefully all around the stamen. There. The bees aren't flying, it's too wet. And that's good. I got out here before them. Now, I don't think. Actually, I do have one other squash flower right there, and that's a uh, that's a summer crookneck yellow, and I wouldn't want that one flower to get cross pollinated with this. So I'm going to make sure I get tons of pollen on here, and then I'm going to intentionally wrap that up, kind of pinch it off. Hey there, buddy. And this is what you want to do before, um, before the bees can get to it, because they'll go from one to the next, one to the next, to the next, to the next, so fast, early in the morning, before you're even out of bed. And you may even go as far as to get a little baggy and put over top of it or something. I'm not going to worry about that here. And normally, I would not even go as far as to do that yet yeah, I was even considering pulling these two female flowers off of here because I want to get the, I want the vine to get a little stronger to support it uh, I should definitely take this other one off of here because we don't need that plant trying to support two fruits right now later as it gets longer it'll root it'll send up roots um, give you an example here send out roots under here up under here it'll root down into the ground and it'll be able to support that like this one right here we'll send roots down here and the little feeder roots will feed the fruit but there's that technique at night what you doing oh, I'm disappointed in some of the seeds that we've gotten we got some work to do out here but you're gonna see I got that kind of squash I got this kind of squash I've got another kind over here another kind over here and here and here and over there and there ooh I hear thunder and there hey buddy and then another kind right there. I got a whole bunch of them in here. And we're going to have to um, do that with all of them for at least a couple of fruits. A couple of fruits on each one. So that I can ensure that I'm getting the strain. So that's, um, that way I can sell, sell you some seeds that, oh, look at it turn up just out here remember I told you I mixed a whole bunch of seed in what I was spreading out here there's beets out here and there's oh there was a pea over here somewhere where were you at I saw it somewhere there's a carrot right there and there's another carrot right there another carrot right there 
right there and there and over there some peas in here so here's the thing if there's food scattered out here well for one my animals could eat two I can eat I could come out here and graze if I want look at all the wheat look at all that wheat I could come out here and collect this wheat if I learned how to if I learned how to clean it up by hand and those cukes look like they're gonna do really well the ones I put down there didn't come up too well there was only one that came up watch out for that wire there buddy he's gonna step right through there he's been hit by it but I'm, I'm yeah there's a lot of leaves a lot of grass touching the line here I'm gonna have to go through here and weed eat it all right just a quickie seed saving on squash how to do it how to do it when you want to plant multiple squash so they don't cross pollinate this is why oh there's that pea right there it didn't get much didn't do much but you want to be able to have um, lots of varieties you're gonna to have to hand pollinate if you want to keep those varieties because trust me I've tried it the other way Look at that corn really the heat heat is helping I weed eated with the weeding hoe but you can tell where I didn't get because the stuff's still green in there what do you think shadow so there's a your squash pollinating technique and here's another kind these two are should be uh, spaghetti squash it's the only two spaghetti squash that I had come up and all the seeds that I had so I'm gonna um, hopefully get some off of there and those are butternut that one that one that one that one they're all butternut these are green hubbard blue hubbard and I can't remember what all those are but this is what we got to do this is what we got to do to um, to make it how'd you like them potatoes these are dying off so I dug them up to show you anyway let's go make some more pictures